Honourable member's time has expired. I call the honourable member for Swan. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Uh, I rise to speak on this matter of public importance, with the uh, uh, put forward by the member for Brand, and in his uh, statement, he's always MPI. He states that the urgent need for the Abbott government to release the National Commission audit report before West Australian Senate election. Well, as a West Australian, and I would see the other members of Western Australia in here and say it should read the urgent need for the government government to repeal the carbon tax and the mining tax before the West Australian Senate election. And, and that is what the opposition should be doing. They should be going to the people in the Senate and in saying in the other place and saying if you want to help Western Australia, repeal the carbon tax and repeal the mining tax. That's it. Now we heard the member for Brand talk about that the people are already voting. And I'm sure I would say that most of the people in West Australia have already made their mind up about how they're going to vote, and they're just going to re repeat again the success that the Liberal Party had at the last Senate election. Now we hear, um, yeah, right, right. We hear the, uh, the what surprises me that we even know that the member for Brand doesn't support the mining tax. He doesn't support the carbon right, tax. Right. Not once in the six years he's been here has he stood up and, and done an MPI before. In this place, he's not run one MPI, but so two two weeks before an election, he decides to get up and stand up for Western Australia, hey, and he stood it in the MPI the other week, and he's made it quite plain what these MPIs are about. He said Western Australians should know what it is before them when they cast that most important vote in the biggest ever by-election in Western Australia, in the Australia's constitutional history. I take the opportunity before our parliament to ask for that. So all he's doing is pleading for votes for the Labor Party. That's his whole intent. Work. Of being involved in moving this MPI, is that the member for Perth I hear interjecting? <laughs> member for Chisholm, that's a not a bad seat. spot I hear. Out of her place in the chamber too. Yeah, but we also we heard the the member for Blacksland talking about talking about the uh, the fact that uh, talking about memory of, about making statements before uh, elections, and that was what we heard from the. The member for Layla, when she made the statement that uh, there would be no carbon tax under the government I lead, but we also heard in 2007, West Australians heard it loud and clear, and we heard the member for Pearce say that in the MPI the other week that Kevin Rudd stood in Western Australia and made a commitment to give the West Australian people $100 million per year for an infra infrastructure fund, which we never saw. We never saw. So if the West Australians want to know where their voting direction should be, they should keep their memories wide open and say this is a history of the Labor Party and how they treat West Australians. Everyone knows in West Australia, you can see it in the result of the last election, what Labor and what, what they think of West Australians and how Labor treats them. And I'll just uh, re remind them of that. According to the Clean Energy Regulator, Labor's carbon tax, the West Australian economy, $626 million in 2012-13. Now I do hear the member for Perth interjecting, and I'd like to quote her from something she said about uh, back in November 2006, 2006, in an extract from Hansard in the West Australian Parliament, Alana McTiernan, who moved it last the other week, and in her MPI that there should be more funding for infrastructure in Western Australia, the, the then planning, Minister for Planning and Infrastructure in Western Australia responded to a question from the member for South Perth, John McGrath, on the Manning Road on ramp, and she said, and I quote. I understand that the on-ramp would be very desirable for the residents of his electorate. Technically, of course, it can't be done. From an engineering point of view, which it can actually be done, from an engineering point of view, it is not a challenging project, and it certainly could be done. Indeed, the planning for this project was undertaken in the 1980s, can you believe, and the Metropolitan Region Scheme was amended to make provision for it. She went on to say that all terrific words, but Madam Speaker, but as she did go on to say, this is not a project the government believes would reach the top of the priority list over the next five years. In fact, the government is keen to provide, find the reserves to provide for the members elected a train station at South Perth, which no one in South Perth wants. Everyone wants the on-ramp, so, which would be far more useful for the exercise for the members' constituents. So there we have an opportunity we've seen. The member for Perth is not prepared to provide any infrastructure, and that is another example of how Labor treats Western Australia. We also have and remind that Labor saddled, saddled West Australians with a mining tax that raised a fraction of what was promised. Yeah, OK. I'm waiting for the sweetheart comment to come back now. Yet burdened businesses with millions of dollars of red tape as well as costing jobs and driving away investment. So if we need to say anything to the voters in Western Australia, we need to say to them, be reminded about how Labor over the last six years, Federal Labor, treated West Australians. They imposed a mining tax, a carbon tax. 
and what they will do, and they will continue to do. Order. So what they need to do is get the support to the Liberals Order. and make sure that Labor go to the Senate and tell them to repeal those taxes. Order. The honourable yeah. member for one time has expired.